so we're going to go over what we worked uh, last week. Uh, if you want to work this at home, be very, very careful. Uh, I suggest using a mattress out your back garden, have plenty of space and have a partner who knows what they're doing. Uh, this is actually quite difficult to train at home. We recommend you only really do it in here on your comfortable mats and with the crash mat nearby if you want to do it full speed because it is quite dangerous to do and uh, if you do it to a friend at home and uh, they might not thank you for it and you might get a knock on the door from their parents very soon right so this is the ogashi or hip throw so i'm going to do a run on grants just on the mat first and then we'll uh, we'll work into how we train it and how we get it done so we're going to start with an underhook tricep grab we're going to step in A good reason we use the mat okay but if you remember if you weren't here this is one of the drills that we do Grant's gonna land on his feet so what we're gonna actually do to drill is I'm gonna put my deep underhook in here I'm reaching around to try and grab his waist so the hip bone on the far side I'm gonna grab the tricep and actually the key to doing the throw is yeah to use your hips and to lift him but actually to make him go like this so to pull him across your belly here like this what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my foot inside to go in front of his feet and I'm going to squat so that my hips are just lower than his and from here I can easily lift. You can see Grant's give me a little hand for a jumper but don't do this now, I'm actually just going to step in and it's quite easy to lift. Our little drill that we do and we want to be able to practice for warm up in the future is that Grant is actually going to arch his back and land on his feet. Then he's going to do it to me. As you can see, we make a lovely dancing couple. So that's our basics on how to lift. It's important to remember, and one of the things that we say to the kids all the time is, sit down the way you'd sit on the toilet. So you wouldn't sit on the toilet like this, or you'd fall in. You sit down like this. So when you go here, you shouldn't do this because you're in as much danger of falling back as you are of throwing. So you sit on the toilet, and now the lift is easy. When we land, and we'll use the crash mat in a second, we're gonna spread our legs wide open, and we're gonna land hip to hip. So, get the man in a little closer. So, when I step in, I'm gonna spread my legs wide open, and I'm gonna land hip to hip. For a successful throw. So we're gonna do one just with Grant without the mat. Just for everybody to see and sort of like the crease Grant. So from here, Grant's gonna to remember to break fall and not put his hand down also. He really enjoyed that. Okay. Good training guys, and we'll talk to you next week.